Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today's pour is on this 20 by 20 canvas, and as you guys can see, I'm just kind of prepping it. It was a canvas I had did a dump and swirl on, and I didn't like how it came out. And so, I mentioned previously, about a month or so ago, that I've determined that if I don't absolutely love a piece, that I'm not keeping it. Um, and I thought whenever I poured that one that um, more sales would come through, but they never did. So I painted over it. And um, because that was such a dark base on there, I painted over with some white um, before I started doing another pour on it. Now, I have um, found, I found a new... Um, content creator her name is christy nicholson i will link her channel in the description box she is um, a smaller channel but if you like this technique um go and show her channel some support and love but i've seen her demonstrating this it's basically um a layered cup and you do a straight pour or a ring pour or whatever type of pour you want but she does it from like um a coffee cup like you know like the coffee cups that you get from Starbucks or from the the service stations or whatever. So I just um, purchased some from my local dollar store. They're paper cups, of course, but these are pretty sturdy. So I actually um, I just wiped it out once I finished with it, and I'm going to use it again. So I think you can get multiple uses out of the cups because they are heavier duty than just like our normal. Um, paper cups you know um but yeah i just thought it was cool and interesting it's i don't know if this is I'm, i don't think this is anything that's like new i'm sure someone's tried it in the past but christy was the one i saw demonstrate it and you guys know i like to give credit whenever i'm inspired um or demonstrating a technique i saw another artist do so that's who i saw do it so that's who i'm giving credit to but um I did use the Artist Law Flow Acrylic plus milk paint plus plus satin enamel mixture in this just to make things a little more interesting. You know I gotta throw some specialty paint in it. So um yeah. Overall I really like how this piece come out. It's really cool and interesting. Um at the end I left it I left the camera going, but I sped it up for you guys like twenty times faster. Um, cause some cells do appear after the initial pour. You, you guys know if you've messed with, messed with, that sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> if you've painted with, poured with milk paint and satin enamel, you know those cells kind of, um, generate over a length of time. Um, so I did leave it running for you. And, um, yeah, so you guys can see that. Um, I'm sitting in my car recording this voiceover. And it is, it's seven o'clock and oh my goodness, I forgot how dark it gets like when it starts getting close. Is it close to time change? I'm not sure, but it's like, it got dark so fast, like it was day and now it's just like dark. <laughs> it's so weird. But anyway, today is, what is today y'all? Today is Monday, October the 5th. It is. Um... I had a little quiz today for my global, oh, what you call it, um, global marketing import export thing. It was fine. It was just a little 10 question quiz and I made a hundred. So easy, cheesy peasy. Um, I have a huge exam Friday. Um, it's on six chapters and it's in finance. You guys know how much I hate finance. Oh, God. But anyway, my teacher's been cool. At first, we were, like, going to be able to take it at home, open book, open notes. And then she's like, mm, I think I want to make y'all have to take it proctored. But you can still use your notes and your book and everything. <sighs> I was a little bit annoyed by that. Not annoyed with her. Like, she's a cool teacher, and she, she totally does not have to let us use our books. So, that's really cool. But I was just like, I had breathed a sigh of relief because I didn't want to go on campus to take any tests this semester. And this was the only class with exams like that. But whenever um, 
whenever she said we weren't going to have to go on campus at first, then I was like, yay, you know. And now she's like, no, because so many people will cheat. And it's true. I mean, you can Google the answers, you know, whatever. But um, anyway, even though it's still open book and open notes, you still got to know, like, at least know where to find these answers in the book. So I have got my notes all made. Y'all would laugh at my notes. Like, it's like 200 pages of notes. For six chapters but I want to do well but I don't try to study it all at one time because that's just way too much for my little brain to absorb um so I usually do like two chapters a day and you know study those two chapters and you know so on and so forth so three days I can cover all my material and I've been doing that since the middle of last week plus whenever you prepare a study guide it really helps because you're I mean, in a way, studying the material while you're making the God, right? So, um, that's always how I've studied. Like, I make good grades, but I have to study to make good grades. I'm not just, like, one of those people that just, like, is smart. Just smart, period. Like, no study necessary smart. I have to study, like, study a lot. Um, I think the coolest thing about accounting and finance so is that the math is not intense it's not like calculus it is very basic math it's just so many formulas holy moly um so anyway i i got my schedule made for next semester and right now i've got two classes for next semester and that's all i need to graduate can you guys believe that? All I need is six more hours and I'll graduate. But I can take a third class. And I'm kind of wondering, do I want to take an accounting class? I kind of want to, but I kind of like want breathing room <laughs> my last semester, you know. I don't know what to do. I'll probably just take the two classes. I'll probably do that. I looked around to see if there was any like fun classes. Because I like learning. Um, but there was no fun classes left. Like I've taken them all. So anyway, I might just just take two. And, um, and you know, just have a breather. Um, my last semester. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'll feel a little bit awkward because I've always had a full schedule since I've started school. Um, this is the super fast forward part, you guys. It went really, really fast, but you can see some of those cells develop. Uh, and here's some close-ups. This is, I think it come out really, really pretty. And I really like this idea of pouring from the coffee cup. It's just something different, I think, and kind of cool. So anyway... Yeah, that's my, there's my painting. I hadn't done a milk paint pour in a minute, so. Or sat in enamel milk paint. It's a combination of both. Oh, my messy desk. <laughs> and here are the dried results. And I actually had a little bit of paint left over, so I did a second one, but I didn't record that. Um, but I'll show it to you guys. But this is the dried results. It dried really pretty. No cracking, no crazing. And, um... My flow trial boogies are nearly non-existent. Um, there was just a few little specks, but nothing like it's been being. And um, yeah, I was really happy. And then, do I show you the little guy? Yeah, there's the little guy. I think it's just really cute. It's that little cluster of um, milk paint cells right there. And then, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are. And I was like, oh, look, look, look. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.